Frank Shaft that will be going in the project that will be known or is known as ASBO number 14. Um, this is the first crank I've lightened for a 500 Royal Enfield bullet. It's actually used 350 Royal Enfield flywheels so they were lighter to start with. I've always doubted whether I could lighten a set of 350 flywheels and have enough metal left on them to rebalance them to the spec required for the 500. And um, well, these have proved that it can be done. And this is the finished article. And you can see if we rotate this one, we're actually on a thousandth of an inch clock this side, a metric one this side, but it doesn't matter too much. We've got naught to five thousandths of an inch there. Which is the movement shown on that one, which first off you think is a lot and over the you know the requisite minimum, but then you look at this side, you got naught to point one of a millimetre, which is four thousandths of an inch. They both move together, and also this one moves by the same amount out there. So I know that one can cancel the other one out. And that gives us a total run out of about one thousandth of an inch. So that is uh, very good overall. If one was going up when the other was coming down, then I'd have something to worry about. But that is quite acceptable. Well, more than quite acceptable, it's pretty good. And uh, you can see the, all the holes there that are drilled in the flywheel. Lighten it. Not only lighten it, but balance it after lightening it because the widths of the flywheels have been machined down a lot narrower. The diameters have been reduced, and then to bring the balance factor back how I want it, I'm going to drill six holes there and two holes there in each of the flywheels. Let me see even better from this side. Turn the light onto them like that. Certainly uh, looks the part. Pity that it won't be seen once it's inside the engine. So uh, we'll take a good look at it now. And it's also got the forged steel conrod fitted with a roller big end. All ready to go.